There are so many different ways to source items that sell on eBay, whether it's going out to your thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, retail arbitrage, or Facebook marketplace. There really is so much opportunity to source these high quality, low cost items that actually go on to sell on eBay. One of my favorite ways to find inventory though is consignment. For those of you who don't know what consignment means, it's basically referring to someone, usually a friend or a family member, giving you their unwanted items for the purpose of selling on their behalf. Once the item sells, profits are then usually split either on a pre-agreed fixed amount commission basis or a percentage basis. So if you think about it, generally most people have got a few things lying around the house that they no longer use. And the reason why it continues to sit there gathering dust is for two main reasons. One, they don't know how to sell the item or two, they are just simply too lazy to do so. And that's where you can step in as a reseller. It's really a win-win for both parties. They don't have to worry about the legwork of selling the item and you can get your hands on some really high profitable items without having to pay anything upfront for it. So I thought for today's video, let's head over to my good mate Paul's house and just see what he has lying around the house that he might no longer want that we can hopefully go on to sell for him on eBay. Let's go a bundle. So we're going to go these three in a bundle for 20 bucks. Try to get 10 for that, 10 for that. No one but you and me, not that. Oh, look at all of these. Oh, yeah. So you don't want these, do you? No. Nah. Yeah, so see, there's a bit of wear there, though, so I don't know how we're going to go racing now. Kobe Bryant Lakers jersey. These shoes, we're gonna, they're in good condition, so we'll try and get like 30 or 40 for those. We've got the MASH DVD collection. This one is really, really good, actually. This MASH, I didn't even do any comps on this, but I think that'll go that'll go really well. Yep. Um, the books, I should get you some decent money on the books, maybe 30 to $40 for those. And then we found the DVDs as well. So for everyone at home, these guys have literally just said, they don't want this stuff anymore. They're happy for me to sell it off. Um, I'm going to basically try and sell it off and give 50% to you, 50% to, to yeah. me. Um, postage costs, fees, that'll all come out of it, but um, everything else will just be split evenly between yeah. you and me. So um, I reckon we should be able to do all right. And what are we doing um, if we can't sell them? What happens then? That'll sell. That'll sell. Now, if we can't, He's confident. Yeah, if, we can't He's sell, if we can't sell them, then I'll just simply bring it back to you. It basically takes about a month of yeah. the sell through rate for me to be able to sell it. So if it doesn't sell in a month, I'll bring it back to do what you want with it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Done? Sweet. All right, so I'm back home now, guys, and this is a good look at everything that I was able to pick up. So I was actually really happy with what we are able to get. We obviously got the two pairs of shoes, which I think will generally go for about the $40 price point. So Merrill was a really good brand. I was happy with that. This one's the real big winner, the uh, the MASH DVD collection. I reckon we can get about $70 to $80 for that. That was a ripper. Um, the books weren't comping too heavily. I'm thinking maybe about $30 to $40 for that. Um, we found a stack of DVDs. I ended up going with these three Twilight books, um, sorry, DVDs, as a bit of a bundle. So we're going to try and do about 30 bucks, maybe 25 bucks for those. And then these DVDs were going for about 10 to 15 each as well. So there's maybe about 40 bucks there in DVDs. The two Miranda Kerr books, um, they were going for $30 as a bundle. And then we've got some sporting gear as well, which I love to sell. So the old Wallabies jersey, generally get about 30 to 40 for that. Um, a fake Kobe Bryant uh, basketball jersey, that's about $30. And then a Cricket Australia 
uh, training top as well, long sleeve. So maybe 30 bucks there as well. So we've definitely got a number of really cool items here. There's going to be a few hundred dollars worth, no doubt, that goes on a sell on eBay. I'll be splitting it 50-50 with Paul and Kristen. A huge thank you to those guys letting me come into their home and pick through a few of their things to find some really high profitable items they no longer needed. I wouldn't say that's the typical way of doing a consignment deal, going over to somebody's house and rummaging through their stuff, but I'm very close with Paul and Kristen for the purpose of this video. I thought I would go ahead and do it that way, so a huge thank you to them. But um, a couple of things, normally it would be that they would bring you their items and you'd be able to sift through what they've got for you. And I'd really just make sure that you comp check everything that they have there rather than just taking it away and, and then having a, a bunch of inventory at home that potentially doesn't go on to resell. Um, so don't be afraid to literally hand an item back and say, look, I just don't think we'll be able to sell that one. Um, so do your comp checks when you're getting the items received from the from the supplier. And also too, just peek around the, the price points as well in the sense of um, time. So how long it'll take to actually sell for that price. And then the other one as well is just how you're going to go about payment. I always like to do a 50-50 process. So um, this can be anyone, right? Like it doesn't need to be your closest friends and family. I've got a consignment deal going on with the lady at the post office. So it really can be anybody. The opportunity is out there to find these great items, no cost involved to get your hands on them. And hopefully you can go on to resell the item for a great profit. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. If you haven't, if you don't think consignment is for you, I've got 10 other ways that you can source items to sell on eBay. So hopefully that video has some useful information in there for you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.